Okay, so in this video I will show you some tips and tricks about Calibre once again, but this time more of how I use Calibre with books for co-reader. You can run co-reader on most of the ebook readers out there. So you can run co-reader uh, co on uh, Kobo devices, you can run them on Unix books devices, you can run them on pocketbook devices and also big me devices and all android based ebook readers for example you can run co-reader as a software as a ui for reading books and co-reader has some uh, nifty features like for example uh, wireless transfer of books to your kobo device so in this video i will show you some tips and tricks on how i do with the books in caliber before i send them to my different ebook readers running co-reader. So if we go here to my table cam first, we will now see two ebook readers here. I have one Kobo device and one Unix Books Palma. And these two devices are running co-reader. And I have a lot of other devices uh, that runs uh, co-reader too. For example, Big Me 751C, a color ebook reader, and also have a Kobo Libra device that runs uh, co-reader but these two will have the example I will use these in the example today so if we now switch to Calibre to see some tips and tricks first so we go to my Calibre cam here you should see my Calibre and here I have a test library of books and uh, as you can see up here at the top uh, you can see one book here that only has the epub format uh, right now and that is how a book looks like when you add it to caliber first with only one format an epub formatted book uh, you can buy epub formatted books from different stores you don't have to buy them from amazon for example, you can buy them in Kobo, you can buy them here in Sweden in different stores like uh, Bokus.com or Bokon.se and a lot more different ways to buy ebooks in ePub format. So here I have a book that is DRM free, Digital Rights Management. This book has no DRM, so I have added it at the top here. So we will use this book as an example on what I do first. So now I have this book in my Calibre library. So now I want to do different stuff with it. So I have one plugin called Count Pages. This plugin you can find in the um, Calibre library of um, plugins. So you can totally free install this uh, plugin that counts the pages from the book. As you see, I have already run that, unfortunately, but I can do that again to, to show you how it works. I just click here and then it counts the pages of the book that you have marked. You can, of course, mark more books at the same time if you want. And here you see it has uh, already count the pages. I click yes. And as you see, it updated actually this book with a lot uh, another page count. And that could be so when you have uh, a plugin uh, that has been updated, for example, with a new fresh uh, version, that it has been uh, something wrong at the first count of the book. So now I have a fresh page count there that maybe is more correct than... Uh, the first count I don't know but it updated that page count at least so after I have run count pages I always do another thing with the book and that is modify EPUB this plugin do some correction of the talk table of content for example and also from some about the formatting and so on so the epub format will always be correctly formatted for all your different ebook readers so if you have some problems with epub formatting and so on 
then this plugin is excellent to have and you find that also in the Calibre library of plugins. So modify EPUB. So I click on that, then this window opens. And as you see here, we have only one thing selected and that is encode HTML in UTF-8. Nothing else should be in this selection. So if you have that and nothing else, then just click OK. And now it updates the EPUB file. As you see here, it couldn't update that file. And that also uh, happens sometimes with some of uh, the files. And uh, you can see show details here if you want to read why and so on. Uh, if you want to read that. But to solve that, I usually do this. I use convert books from EPUB to EPUB first and click OK. So now it converts an EPUB file to an EPUB file again. And after that, I run modify EPUB again and have that selected and click OK. And now it will modify the EPUB, as you see here, down here, I click yes. And now it has updated that EPUB file with what I have selected in the plugin. So these two plugins, the count pages and modify EPUB is two plugins I always run on all the books I have all EPUB books and I only use EPUB, nothing else. When you run CoReader, you don't use KeyPub, uh, Kobo's own formatted EPUBs, because CoReader doesn't use KeyPub, it uses EPUB. So that is why I only have these as EPUB files. As you see down here, I have some KeyPub files too. And those is uh, useful to have when you use uh, Kobo's own software on the Kobo ebook readers. But as I said, this is for all my ebook readers running CoReader. And then I use the count pages and modify ebook and nothing else. So now that file is ready to transfer to my different ebook readers. Uh, so if we now go back to my table cam like so now we start with a unix books ebook reader we go up here and to be able to send that book to your ebook reader running co-reader you need to be in the library the file manager in co-reader like this you need to be here when transferring it. So now if we go up here, we see Calibre there. I have set this up to use Calibre wirelessly. So if we click on Calibre here, you see different settings you can do. We can go into my wireless settings here. You see uh, file formats it should be using. Uh, you can select that, but I use EPUB. And you can set password. I don't use passwords in Calibre. I have a set inbox folder. It's a folder where you select that uh, the file should be transferred to your ebook reader. And you can have a server address, automatic or manually. I have it to automatic because the server address is from Calibre. So I will show you soon in Calibre which address this will be. So enable wireless client and set server address to automatic. That is what I do and set inbox folder, of course. So now if I click connect, it will connect to my Calibre. But before I do that, we go back to Calibre. Once again, we go to my Calibre cam and we have Calibre here. Now, if we go up here, connect share, as you see here, we have the stop wireless device connection. Here I have 
uh, activated the wireless device connection. That's why it says stop here. So if I click here, I will stop the device connection, but I will have it running as it. You will need to start it by going up here in the connect share menu. So it uh, shows green here and have an address here. So this address is what uh, the ebook readers will use in the caliber menu of co-reader, as you see here. So that is what you need to set up in caliber. So now if I click connect on my ebook reader, as I showed you, uh, I will not show it here because I will stay here in caliber to show you. So I click connect on my Kobo device. Now it should connect like so. Now I am connected to Calibre. As you see, here is my device now. I can now send this book to my device by clicking send to device. So if I do that, it will send the book to my Kobo device. So I click send. Now you see it worked that, there and it's very fast. So now if we go back to my uh, table cam, it's too late already. It will be sent to this device as you see there. This file is now on this ebook reader ready to be read as you see there. Very, very fast transfer, totally wirelessly. So. I will delete this now because I already have that book on the device. But uh, that is how fast you can send books wirelessly to your devices, your ebook readers using CoReader. I think CoReader is amazing. And if we go up here, you see that we are still connected. So I can now disconnect this device. So now. We have disconnected that, that ebook reader. Now we go into my Unix Books Palma. And same here, we will um, go up here and go to Library File Manager on your device. Unix Books Palma, once again we are here. Now we connect up here. Caliber, connect. And now we are connected. As you see up here in the top, we are now connected. It says disconnect, as you see there. So now if I transfer the file, I will stay on the table cam. So you will see the file will transfer in real time over here. So I do the same as before. I just click send to device. And you will see that the file shows up here, as you saw there. Now it's <laughs> back on this device, as you see there. Uh, really, really fast and easy transfer wirelessly to all your ebook readers. And when you have, I will remove this as I did before, so I remember doing that like so. And now if we disconnect Caliber, disconnect. Now I can connect another of my ebook readers if I want to send the same book to. It takes a few seconds with every ebook reader, so easy to do. And the beauty with this I will show you here is that you can sync the books uh, reading progress when having the exact same book on all your devices. So if I open the book I'm reading at the moment, a Swedish book, and this book here on the same device, like so, uh, it syncs the reading progress by having the reading progress settings, like so. Uh, sorry, wrong menu, uh, this menu, reading progress sync. Here we have some settings as you see, automatically keep documents in sync. 
and a custom sync server. You can uh, use the default sync server if you prefer. You can find other custom sync servers on the net by searching, for example, co-reader GitHub page or co-reader forums. So you don't have to use the default server because the default server can sometimes be buggy and don't work and have uh, some issues. So you can find other servers. I will not show you my server here because I don't want other to use that. So, but you can set a sync server there if you prefer, but you can still use the default. No problems if you prefer that. And the first time you connect to the sync server, you need to create an account. And it, I'm logged into that as you see. Uh, and uh, it's important that you log in to the same account and the same sync server on all your devices you need to sync the reading progress with. So the same sync server and the same login. That's very, very important. And as you see, automatically get sync and sync behavior you can uh, change if you want but the other thing the other stuff you don't need to sync if you want and if it doesn't sync as you want you can still manually pull or push progress you can push the progress from this and then if i pull on this it will uh, download the progress on that but if you have automatically keep documents in sync it will always sync your reading progress when you are connected to wi-fi so that is the syncing feature that you can use in CoReader. The syncing feature, I will eventually do a more uh, in-depth video later on. This was more what I do in Calibre to have this in sync and uh, have all the books uh, in the right format to be used on all my ebook readers. So this is the video for that and I hope it helped some of you to see what you should use CoReader for and so on. CoReader is excellent if you don't want to bother with cables and so on because you can do everything wirelessly. Seriously, you can do everything wirelessly. Syncing, transfer books, everything. Totally wirelessly. And I love that. Uh, so, okay. Bye.